Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to use StatCrunch to find a regression line equation from a given scatter plot. Here's our problem statement. Using the pair of values for all 10 points, find the equation of the regression line. After removing the point with coordinates 2, 9, Use the pairs of values for the remaining nine points and find the equation of the regression line. Compare the results from parts A and B. Okay, part A asks us for the regression line for all ten points that are shown on the scatter plot. Let's blow this uh, scatter plot up a little bit so we can see a little bit better what we're dealing with here. Notice there's no icon here to actually dump the data into StackCrunch, so I'm going to call up StatCrunch, and we're going to have to put these ordered pairs for each of these data points in manually. To start off with, I'm going to actually label my columns X and Y. That makes a later portion of solving this particular problem a little more easy. And now I'm going to go and get the ordered pairs for each of my data points. So starting here with this point all by itself, the X value for that is 2. And the y value is 9. So I'm going to put in 2, 9. And then for the 9 points here that are in a square formation, we've got 3 points that have an x coordinate of 4, 3 coordinates that have an x coordinate of 5, and 3 that have an x coordinate of 6. And then we've got 3 points. These three points have y values of 2, 3, and 4, as do the next three and the last three. So there's the ordered pairs for all 10 of my data points that are here in the scatter plot. Now I'm ready to make my regression line. To do that, I go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear. Here's where labeling those columns become very useful. The x variable is the x, the y variable is the y. And that's all I really need to get the actual regression equation, so I'm going to hit Compute. And let's expand this window so we can see better what's going on. So we see the actual regression equation here, but notice how the answer fields are asking for just the coefficients from the regression equation. I can take them from here, but there's a lot of business going on here, and it's actually easier for me to see those values if I go down here to my parameter estimates table. So see the 9 that's here originally, that same 9 is here, and then that's your y-intercept. And then the slope, the slope value here is the same as the slope value down here. So I actually prefer to get my values for my regression line down here in the, in the parameter estimates table. So the first value here is my intercept. And the next value, notice I'm carrying the negative sign with me. Good job! Now part B asks for the regression line equation for the set of nine points. So in the problem statement, it asks us to remove this one point that's an outlier and get the regression equation for just these nine. To do that, first I'm going to clear out this results window and then I'm going to come up here to this row I'm going to select it and then this little arrow next to it uh, gives me a drop down menu and I'm going to select delete row. Now I'm going to bring back my results window go into options edit and then I didn't change any I don't need to change any of the settings so I just go ahead and hit compute and it recalculates everything with the, the new columns that I have after deleting that data point. So now we can see we've got new values here. Now my regression equation, y hat equals 3. And of course, zero slope means there's no x variable for my equation. Well done! And now part C is the last part of the problem, and it asks us to choose the correct description of the results below. We've got four options here, so let's look at them one at a time. 
Option A says the regression line is very similar in both cases. Uh, well, that's not true. I mean, just look at the regression line equations here. This is a line with a negative slope to it. This is a line with, uh, well, really no slope to it because it's just a straight horizontal line. So answer option A isn't going to work for us. Answer option B says the regression line changes, but the change is small. Uh, <laughs> hello, you go from having a, a, a negative slope to just having no slope at all? And, and you know, your y-intercept? Changes uh, quite a bit, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't call that change small. So answer option B isn't going to work for us. Answer option C says the removal of the point has a significant impact on the regression line. Well, that's true, but let's check out answer option D before we select this answer. Answer option D says there is no regression line for the second case because the data are in a pattern. Well, there actually is a regression line. We've got the equation right here. So answer option D is going to work for us. Answer option C is the one we want. Good job. And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Feel free to leave your comments below. Let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is just boring or doesn't want to help you learn stats, then go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can find out more about accessing our lecture videos or leave a comment to find out you know it's like what you actually want to see us uh, provide for you in the future and thanks for watching and hope this helped you we'll see you in the next video